A high-speed chase starts in San Luis Obispo County and ends near the Bacara Resort in North Goleta. See how the dramatic pursuit unfolded. And a great program in Ventura County is keeping kids off the streets and out of gangs, one car at a time. News Channel 3 at 5 starts right now. Live, up and down the coast, from the beaches to the valleys. At 5, this is KEYT News Channel 3, where the news comes first. This guy, he got scared when he saw the movement of the North Driver, and he came into my lane. A frightening day on the 101. It is our top story tonight at 5 o'clock. A high-speed chase ends in not one, but two crashes. And now the man who officers say started the whole thing is under arrest. Good evening, everybody. I'm uh, C.J. Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. A Morro Bay man is behind bars for that high-speed pursuit that left vehicles crashed and ended with an Ocean Bluff arrest. Now, the chase went from Napomo through northern Santa Barbara County, including Guadalupe, Lompoc, and Buellton. It caused a crash at Tehiguas involving other vehicles. The guy then made a U-turn at Fairview, and he was finally arrested west of Goleta on a cliff. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palmentary was in the middle of the whole thing. He joins us live. And John, this suspect was also armed. It was an incredible chase throughout the central coast. And the driver of the vehicle, identified as Trevor Crane, uh, may have been carrying a knife, according to authorities. And also, they're trying to see if he's involved in other criminal behavior beyond this violent chase and crash that endangered hundreds of people. This Ford truck with flattened front tires coming out of a ranch road west of Goleta was at the center of a high-speed chase that started in Napomo in San Luis Obispo County. But the driver, later identified as Trevor Crane, seen here during the pursuit, at times evaded the California Highway Patrol, getting away before he was seen a second time. In the area of uh, Guadalupe, um, in attempting to stop the Ford F-150, a pursuit ensued. Uh, which uh, came down uh, Highway 1 uh, towards Vandenberg Air Force Base, uh, upwards to 100 to 120 miles an hour. Just south of Gaviota during the chase, a sedan on the freeway tried to get out of the way and hit a semi, leading to this violent rollover injury accident at Tehiguas. And he hit on the, on the left front part of my truck by the fender and the tire, and then he went like this, you know, he flipped it over like he was flying. But the chase continued southbound with CHP units staying with the suspect even though Crane turned back at the Fairview exit and went north again. That's when a spike strip flattened the tires and west of Goleta the truck plowed through gates heading to a private ranch at an ocean bluff. He then went to the side of the cliff started climbing down to evade police officers. And moving along the bluff westbound from the bridge. Crane was also believed to be armed. Officers and deputies told him to drop the knife. He dropped the knife. They threw down a rope and they pulled him up safely. Search and rescue team members were also called in to try to locate the knife or other evidence on the Ocean Bluff. Trevor Crane remains in the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department main jail this evening as investigators try and find out if he's connected to any other criminal behavior on the Central Coast. Reporting live in Santa Barbara this evening, John Palmentary, News Channel 3. All right, thank you so much for that update, John. Santa Barbara City Council.